Year four has a very simple title. It's called Heaven. In this year, we're going to explore what heaven is like. We do this for a very simple reason. Most kids don't know what heaven is like, and therefore they're not really that interested in it. Hey, listen, Satan doesn't want your students to really know what heaven is about. We know this because of Revelation chapter 13, verse 6. Referencing Satan, we read these words. It opened its mouth to blaspheme God and to slander his name and his dwelling place and those who live in heaven. Note the words, blaspheme his dwelling place. Translating those words, Satan doesn't want you to know how absolutely wonderful heaven is. I believe this is for two reasons. First, if we knew how wonderful heaven was, we couldn't wait to get there and we'd be living with eternity in mind. Secondly, again, if we knew how wonderful heaven was, we'd want as many people to get there with us as we possibly could. That means we'd be sharing our faith a whole lot more. Now, we all know the scripture which says, for me to live as Christ, to die is gain. But unfortunately, that's not how most people are living out their lives. Because Satan has been successful at blaspheming his dwelling place, here's how most people really translate that verse in their lives. For me to live as Christ, to die is, well, second best. But hey, at least you're not going to hell. Look on the bright side of things. Because of this, they put hell, heaven, and earth. Earth is higher than hell. And because of that, Christians cling to this life here on this earth. Oh God, I don't want to die. To them, death is some kind of a penalty. It is second best. They think this way because they don't have a correct understanding of heaven. Heaven to them means we're going to be some kind of a spirit floating around on the clouds in heaven. They're not really sure. It's going to be an eternal worship service. Gag. How boring is that? I mean, I get tired after 45 minutes, an hour max. I'm done with worship. Move on. And we've got an eternity and a worship service? That doesn't excite me and it doesn't excite most people. As a result, they really don't want to die. Why? Because earth is so much more exciting. The books we will be using for this fourth and final year will be Heaven by Randy Alcorn as well as Heaven Wins by Don Richardson. Heaven by Randy Alcorn answers questions such as, will there be time in heaven or will it just be one like eternal state? Will it be fascinating or boring? Is the present heaven the final heaven? Will we have bodies or will we be spirits? Will we have names and remember our time here on the earth? Will there be animals in heaven? Will it be one eternal worship service or will we be doing something other than worship? Randy Alcorn's book, Heaven, is one of the best books I've ever read next to the Bible. The second book, Heaven Wins, by Don Richardson, answers other questions such as, when it's all said and done, will there be more people in heaven or more people in hell? Do babies go to heaven when they die? And what role does general revelation play and why was Melchizedek so important? Heaven winds will blow you away and so encourage you in your faith. When I gave a sampling of this teaching to teenagers here in the Richmond area, one 15-year-old young lady came to me and said, Mr. Shogren, I've never said this before, but for the first time, I'm not afraid of dying. She caught a vision of what heaven is like, and she got excited. This is what we want for your kids. Don't miss on this fourth and final year's curriculum, heaven.